This one's for the tech-driven, forward-thinking engineers out there. If you wanna lead the next wave of AI-driven innovation in civil engineering, you need to innovate, not just engineer. My name's James Hinsberger, co-founder of Cydian. I recently joined Velocity, Canada's top startup incubator, where over 500 startups have launched with a combined enterprise value of roughly $40 billion. This year alone, more than 400 companies have applied and only 20 were accepted. We are the only civil engineering related company involved and we are clearly going against the grain. We got in with Cid, an operating system, an OS, to scale junior engineers. Think of it as a junior's assistant. And let me tell you, what I learned there completely changed the way I approach projects, teams, and even problem solving with AI. So in this video, I'm gonna share three mindset shifts that I learned at Velocity that every civil engineer or entrepreneur needs if you want to thrive in the era of AI. Here's the plan. I'll start with how surrounding yourself with the right people literally upgrade your thinking. Then we'll dive into how why you should always be the least experienced person in the room. And finally, how taking breaks strategically can make your AI driven insights and insights in general really 10 times sharper. Some of these concepts are general and apply to all industries. And I'm just talking about how I have found it in my specific venture. So mindset shift number one. Surround yourself with builders, not complainers. This is the power of positive pressure. When I first walked into Velocity's downtown Kitchener space, it hit me. Everyone there was building something bigger than themselves. Initially, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of had imposter syndrome, just like I did the first day walking into my engineering class. Am I right to be here? Is this a spot for me? When I got in there, there were teams working on multi-million dollar ventures, solving robotic problems, agent voice systems for detecting dementia, pesticide solutions for corn placement. There were so many different things I had never even thought of and venture capitalists were going after it. Companies worth several million dollars. The saying of show me your five closest friends and I'll tell you who you are is very true. And in this case, it is who you are surrounding with. Here's what happened. Being around that level of energy created what I call positive pressure. You start to notice that the standard of performance rises just by being in that room. You see people grinding all day, you wanna grind too. You can't leave, you can't be the first one out, so you have to continue to work and push yourself. The conversations are absolutely electric. You need to be around builders, people who share your ideas, challenge you, and put fire under you, not blowing smoke at you. That's exactly how Velocity works. When you're surrounded by 50 plus founders solving a billion dollars worth of problems, you can't help but level up. If you don't, you actually look like the one who is not part of the group. Build your own incubator environment. Not everyone's gonna go to Velocity, but that does not matter at all. I wish I would have known this. Initially, five months ago, I would be grinding in my house alone. You get into your thoughts. It's best to be with a group of people who share a similar path and a desire that you do. Even if it's just a small group of engineers who meet up weekly to discuss new AI tools or different data-driven techniques, that shared momentum is what accelerates your growth and keeps you pushing even when the times get hard. Because let's get real, when you are working on a specific thing that has not come up before, you need that push. It'll get tough. You don't know exactly what to do. You just gotta keep moving. And speaking of growth, that brings us to mindset shift number two. If you're the smartest in the room, you're in the wrong room. Get out of there. You don't wanna be the big fish in a small pond, be the small fish in a big pond. At Velocity, one of the rules is simple. You must be willing to work on your product or company full time. That means you're surrounded by people who are all in. People who think faster, ask harder questions, and constantly push the edge of what's possible. These are the people that you want in your close network. If everyone around you is smarter than you in some way, you never stop growing, you always have something to learn, and the conversations are exactly what you need. For civil engineers, this is crucial. You might be an expert in geo design, but imagine collaborating with someone who's building a model for a predictive soil analysis or a software developer who's training computer vision systems to detect rebar spacing errors in real time. Although you may not be studying the exact same thing or working on the same problem, you can share ideas off each other and really create something great. Also, you never know, maybe you'll combine to create something unique and it brings all different skills together. 
Those kinds of conversations stretch your thinking. Velocity's ecosystem does this by design. Founders are constantly exposed to mentors, investors, and technical advisors who've already solved massive problems. They've been there before, and when you're just starting out, it's important to have this experience. So instead of hiding behind your expertise, get out of your comfort zone. Go find the people who intimidate you. That is the discomfort and it is data. It's telling you exactly where your next level is. Anxiety is actually your body's way of telling you to change your current systems. If you feel anxious and you act upon and move towards a goal, you'll stop feeling anxious for that time. You go to bed, feel confident, you wake up, you got that anxiety again. Don't worry, I share it with you, but you just gotta keep working step by step and you'll get there. Now, mindset shift number three, step back to step forward. The power of strategic breaks. When I am working, I'm guilty of this, I feel like I gotta be grinding on a specific task, put the headphones on, get secluded, don't talk to anyone. I feel like that can sometimes be a waste of time, the small talk. However, you never know where this is going to lead you. Velocity's innovation arena, their new 90,000 square foot facility, has this central area called the Velocity Main Street. It's not just a hallway, it's literally designed for spontaneous collisions. Moments where founders bump into each other walking and you talk. Naturally, as a human, you're gonna to talk to someone you walk by. If you're going to grab a coffee, going to grab lunch, you see someone in the hallway, you say hi, you stop, and you have a great conversation. And that's when it clicked for me. Breakthroughs don't always happen in isolation. They can, but sometimes your mind will get stuck on a track and it's not going in the right path. You need to hear other people's thoughts and it can get you out of this rut. As engineers, we love to grind long hours, focused effort, but you can't brute force creativity. Maybe when you're solving a specific problem that's already been defined and you've already done it in the past, you know what to do. But if you're innovating, you don't necessarily know the path and you gotta find the steps step by step as opposed to just knowing it in advance and having people that are going through the same struggle as you and talking it out can really help. At Velocity, I learned to take strategic breaks. Stepping away from the computer, grabbing coffee with another founder, coming back with a fresh lens, getting out of that same rut that I've been in. Nine times out of 10, those casual conversations revealed insights that completely changed my approach. For civil engineers building AI systems, the same rule applies. When you're stuck trying to train a model, calibrate a data set, or figure out why your LLM integration isn't behaving the way you desire, take that break. You never know, maybe a 10 minute walk can really help you clear your mind and get to where you gotta go. So let's zoom out. Velocity didn't just teach me about startups. It taught me how to think like a founder times engineer. Someone who builds systems, not just design them. If you integrate these three mindsets into your engineering practice, surround yourself with builders, seek smarter rooms, take strategic breaks, you'll find that your career in civil engineering will move faster, your ideas will grow bolder, and your AI integration will become second nature. It is key, we are typically introverts that like working behind a desk, but if you wanna develop faster, you need to speak with someone who's more experienced or been through the problems you're trying to solve. If you wanna stay up to date on how AI is reshaping civil engineering, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. We post weekly, sharing lessons directly from the field and what we're building inside Velocity. Thanks so much for watching and remember, you don't need permission to innovate, you just need the right environment to make it inevitable.